The year was 1801 when Mother Superior of the Ursuline Convent of Rouen assigned me to Haiti. As I stepped off the ship, I gave little thought I would be fleeing for my life in a few months. I arrived in Haiti in the early hours before dawn. The captain had anchored offshore to wait for the morning light. I was awakened by the seagull's doleful cry as we headed for port. Stepping off the ship and onto the gangplank, I planted my feet on solid ground. I felt a freedom I hadn't known for a while, and it was such a release after so much time at sea. Fried to sail filled the air, and the aroma of smoked fish let me know that this was some place new. And amidst the fishing nets and bundles of sugarcane, the crew unloaded its cargo while I waited for my ride. On the busy dock, I took a deep breath of sea air and reflected on how I had gotten to Haiti and how much my life had changed since leaving the farm in Brittany. 